Right, so today, guys, we'll be reviewing Electro Boom. Personally, I think he's one of the best YouTubers of all time. Today, we'll be reviewing Making a Jacob Ladder to celebrate a million subs. So let's get on with the video. Hi. Shh. Trying to focus. Yeah! One million subscribers! <laughs> Wow, well, this calls subscribe. for two things. First, I like to make a celebration candle, which I'll make out of a Jacob's ladder. And second, I'm gonna give away four of mini 3D printers to you, not my viewers and patrons, at the end of the ago, video. So Thank you for helping me get there. Now let's make the ladder. According to historians, Jacob used this special ladder to ascend to heavens. Well, naturally, of course, if you are too unfortunate to touch this ladder, you'll die. Because it's made of very high power, high voltage, low frequency wow, across two metal Don't rods. But unlike the legend, it doesn't guarantee you'll go to heaven. Unless you have led an honest life. Have been good to your neighbors. Fine, I don't know why they call it a Jacob's Ladder, and I don't care. We need high voltage, and I can create it with my microwave oven transformer. It you creates over volts. Do now it. we need to shape two wires. From future to warn you one last time, you are banned to do this high voltage experiment at home. It is more dangerous than having an agitated cobra around your neck. At least the venom takes a while to like kill I you, said, but this doesn't. In this ladder, we have two wires like this connected to high voltage. The arc is created from the shortest gap and rises all the way up. The reason is that the arc is hot, so the hot air pushes the arc up. I connected my wires to the transformer so we can see the arc. Oh, I think the gap between the wires is a little bit too wide for the 2 kV to jump across. Ow! He almost killed himself. I almost killed myself. But I was saved with sheer luck. See, my right hand touched the wire first, which shocked me back to my senses. If both my hands touched the wires at the same time, now you would be watching a few hours of my corpse cooking to perfection. I'm pretty sure that doesn't meet YouTube guidelines either. Maybe it I could have posted on live link. So never get too comfortable around high voltage and always wear protective gear. See, even though only one hand was touching the wire, and fortunately I wasn't touching earth or any other conductive surfaces, it still he zapped so me. Lucky. Always remember, any conductor like you has parasitic capacitances to the environment. So if the voltage is high enough, there will be high enough current to zap you. Let me show you. See, this probe is not connected anywhere. But when I bring it close to this wire, it'll arc. You hear it? Uh, maybe if I make the room dark, you can't even see the arcs. Yeah, so what he's saying here is really true. You can get little sparks from it because it's going through the air. There's like capacitance in the air and resistance. So if it's high enough voltage, a little bit of voltage will go to the end of the tip through the air. So that's why it'll make a little spark due to capacitance and all of that stuff yeah let's get back on with the video you see them the probe is still not connected anywhere if it was the arcs would be huge for around two kilovolts i need around one millimeter for the arc to jump. <laughs> anyways for around two kilovolts i need around one millimeter of air gap for the arc to jump let's try it <laughs> My puny wires melted. I need thicker wires. So yeah, he needs thicker cables, guys. It will just melt and break down. So he needs thicker ones, because otherwise it will just melt. Yeah, let's get back on with the video. It's like this, so they won't melt. Let's give it a try. Come on. The breaker popped. Damn it! I just want to celebrate. Apparently the one millimeter air gap is too short for the arc to rise. I need to widen the gap. But then that means that I have to have much higher voltage. Which I could make using a simple circuit like this to increase it's the output voltage peak to double. To the problem is that the capacitor I scavenged from my microwave oven is broken. And all I have are these 100 picofarad high voltage capacitors which limit the output power a lot. 
Let me show you. Here I have a single capacitor series with my power supply and you can see that around one millimeter the arcs start jumping. Now all I did is that I added the diode I talked about earlier and we can see that the arcs can jump from a much further distance. So yeah, it just boosts the voltage a bit, I think, because the capacitors, it makes a tiny small arc, but with the diode, it makes it much longer, but that would also make the it much weaker, so you wouldn't be able to move it about, it will just turn off. This is too weak for Jacob's ladder, though, because as soon as I open the gap, it stops going. We need more power to be able to stretch the arcs, see? Wow, look For at a wider That's arc, we arc. need more power to create and maintain a longer ionized air channel. So I guess I can keep the gap wide and then stretch an arc across it manually, like this. I don't know if you can see, but where the nail is nailed there, it's sparking slightly to, from shorting it. don't know if you can see it on video. Uh, it's a manual Jacob's letter. I think it still needs more pizzazz. What if I put a capacitor between the rods so that when the arcs reach them, the capacitor blows off? Here's the capacitor. Ready? Oh, capacitor legs just melted. The capacitor legs melted, but the capacitor didn't blow up. Is anything gonna work today? So much power melted the legs, but the capacitor is not even bulged. Let me check something. That's why. It seems like the high voltage dead shorted the capacitor internally before it even had a chance to heat it up and blow up. When it's too high voltage, shot. Worst celebration candle ever. Hey, what if I put some matches between them so at least they set on fire? I'm holding a match there. Let's give it a try. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's the the how the breaker just pops. In fire! Fire creates plasma! Let me introduce you to fire! <laughs> we don't need high voltage after all. Breaker, breaker popped again. and what if I add some sparklers to it? It's getting there. Let's make it fancier. I designed a stand for my fancy Jacob's ladder yeah, and I'll print it. If you're in so I'll be giving away um, this Lalsbot Mini 3D printer. Hopefully. It's a pretty solid printer. I've had it for over a year now and printed a few things with it. I'm not sponsored Very Lulzbot useful Mini. tool to I've have. Never even seen the company before. It is a two piece so, part yeah. which I'll glue together like this. And I'll drill the burrs out of the holes. And so we have a shrine. Mm. I leave a link to the 3D model in my website in case you need it for spiritual reasons. Of course you didn't think I was gonna use these tiny sparklers, eh? <laughs> Say hello to my 28 inch sparkler. Wow, that's Put them in. Putting high voltage on that. Let's add a bunch of more tiny sparklers to it. Let's start the mayhem. Things happen to good people. Come on. Ooh. Ah, Sheer luck. Thanks to my flimsy wire connection to the trans. Wow, that's crazy. 2,500 volts just fell on him. I'm surprised he didn't die. This is why it's very dangerous to, and not to do this stuff because this will, if it was you. It's like 90% chance you would have got killed. So just be very careful if you do anything like this. Transformer that fell off quickly, I only sustained some third degree burns. 
My stupid long sparklers made my structure top heavy, which of all people fell right on top of me. I leave a bunch of safety tips on my website, but such experiments are not worth dying for, so don't do it. Let's just celebrate like normal people with oversized sparklers. Yay! I think he's going for his like life things right now, like all the bad things he's done. But we'll be probably watching these videos in later videos, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and turn the notification bell on.